Hello there, when talking about controlling a device remotely or wirelessly, we have a lot of options like through Wi-Fi, NRF, Bluetooth and LoRa. Today let's talk about LoRa. LoRa stands for long range. It consumes only low power and unlike Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, LoRa has a high communication range. This LoRa communication is very useful in remote areas where internet connection is not available. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to interface the RIAX RY-LR998 LoRa module with Arduino and we are going to control an LED wirelessly. Nothing more, let's get started with this video. I bought this LoRa module from Ryax.com. Ryax has a variety of wireless modules like the Wi-Fi, GPS, Bluetooth and LoRa modules. The website link is in the description. So here is our Ryax RY-LR998 LoRa module. You can see it's like a DAO shape and the website says the symbol is for love and peace. Good. So it has 5 pins, VDD, Ground, TX, RX and a reset pin. We can communicate to this module using AT commands. To do that we need a USB to TTL converter. We can use any type of USB to TTL converter. Here I am using an FTDI programmer and our USB to TTL converter. Connections are pretty easy. Connect the ground of the LoRa module to the ground of FTDI module. VCC to VDD. Now the TX to RX and RX to TX. Make sure to use the 3.3 volt. 5 volt will kill your LoRa module. The same way I set up the other one. Now connect the module to computer and open your Arduino IDE. Open serial monitor. Now change the baud rate to 115200. Now select the new line and carriage written here. Now let's set up the AT commands to communicate. You can download the details and list of AT commands from Ryax website, link is in the video description. First type AT and here you can see the serial response is ok, that means the module is ready to accept our AT commands. First let's set up the baud rate, for that type AT plus IPR is equal to 9600. So this will set the baud rate to 9600. Now change our baud rate to 9600 to communicate further. So this is not necessary, now let's set up the address. 80 plus address is equal to 3. We can give any number as the address. Here I am giving 3. To check the current address, type 80 plus address question mark. Next is network ID. So 80 plus network ID is equal to 3. We can use any number between 3 to 15. To check the current network ID, type 80 plus network ID question mark. So that's it. If you want to change the other parameters like frequency, you can change. But I am not going to do that now. Now same way let's set up the other module, the only change is in the address. After setting the LoRa modules, let's connect it to the Arduino. Here I am using two Arduino Unos. You can use any Arduino. Now first let's set up the transmitter section. The first pin is VDD that's going to connect 3.3 volt of Arduino Uno. Ground to ground, RX pin to 3 of the Arduino, TX pin to the Two of the Arduino because we are using the software serial here. Now let's connect the switch. So one end of the switch to the pin number 5 and other end of the switch will connect to the ground. Same way let's set up this receiver section here. The only change is in the uh, connection of an LED. Just connect the LED pin to pin 13 of the Arduino through a 1 kilo ohm resistor. Here is the code for the transmitter section. In this code, first I have included the software serial and defined the button bin. Next I defined the pins for software serial communication. Also declared a string for receiver section LoRa address. Uh, in the setup section, first I defined the button bin as input pull up. Also I started the serial and LoRa communication. In the loop section, first I read the status of the button using digital read and then I gave if and else condition. So if the button is pressed, LoRa will send L to the receiver and if not, will send edge. So that's it. So here is the code for the receiver section. Just like the transmitter, I added libraries and also I defined the pins LED 
at a string for storing incoming data. In the setup section, I defined the LED pin as output, also started the serial and LoRa communication. So in the loop section, I checked the coming data and I gave conditions according to the data. So that's it. Now let's test and now you can see I can turn on the LED with the transmitter. In the coming videos, let's make more project with this LoRa module. You can download the code and circuit from my website. All link is in the description. So that's all about today. Hope you enjoyed and learned something from my video. If so, please like, share and subscribe. It's all up to you. I will see you with another video.